Hello and welcome once again to the Mrs. Beeboard Show, starring me, Mrs. Beeboard, and I'm her assistant. My name is Abe. Shut up, Abe! Who asked you? Uh, sorry, Barbara. Well, anyway, Abe, doesn't it feel good to be back in our old studio again, after taking off a few weeks to go golfing with the president? Barbara, you know that I wasn't invited to Mar-a-Lago with you. I had to sleep out in the cold and rain and mud, and it was awful. Oh, sh shush your complaining, Abe. Also, you cost the taxpayers $50,000 a night because your rent for Mar-a-Lago kept getting charged to the national debt. Well, I pay my taxes, unlike those liberals out there, so technically I still paid for my own stay. You haven't paid your taxes since Eisenhower. Well, I'm never going to release my tax returns, so nobody can ever know for sure. Isn't hiding your finances while swearing that there's nothing to see, like, the most suspicious thing you can do? You would think that, Abe. But Trump has set a great precedence for hiding your finances and calling any criticisms of that fake news. Ugh, such a shameful legacy to leave behind. Oh, quiet, Abe. You're just jealous of Trump because you're a beta cuck. Well, at least I know which studio we're recording in today. What are you talking about? This is our old shack out in Austin, which... Wait a minute. Where the hell did you drag me off to, Abe? We're in Manhattan, Barbara. We're in New York again. I told you this. We're recording this episode live at the Muckrakers Podcast Power Station. Damn it, Abe, I told you the last time we filled in for those muckrakers that that would be the last time. Aren't those lousy, lazy youngins able to record one lousy podcast if you give them an entire week to do it in? I mean, you would think that, but they're both very, very lazy. I even hear that they haven't recorded an episode on time in a month. And yet they claim to never miss a week. Yet here we are, for the second time, having to fill in for them. Well, anyway, Abe, I trust you have their production notes ready to go. And it better not be a bunch of liberal George Soros-paid CNN spoon-fed nonsense like it usually is. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just draw a topic out of their hat marked fair and balanced. Hmm... The first story is that President Trump has been declared incapable of performing the job of president by the World Mental Health Coalition. They've said, uh, quote, the president failed at every criterion for rational and reality-based decision-making capacity. Yep, that's just a bunch of fake soy boy bullshit. Do you have anything that's not opinion-based, Abe? Well, that's actually not so much opinion-based as it is the results of professionals giving their analysis performed by... Next story, Abe! Uh, th th sorry, Barbara. Uh, ahem. The, uh, the next story is that Trump has started a, uh, a new racist chant where people at his rallies chant send her back in reference to wanting... Well, I'll just say it. They want black people to go back to Africa. Oh, Abe, telling black people to go back to Africa isn't actually racist. But, but, uh, uh, mm, uh, okay, all oh, right, whatever, Barbara, whatever. Anyway, Congress has formally censured Trump for it, putting on official record not just that Trump is racist, but also which Congress people are racist for defending him and voting against the censure. Oh, wait, wait, they, they passed? Well, then... And what does the censure do exactly? Fuck all nothing. Oh, whew. I mean, uh, of course not, because he's, uh, he's not guilty. The censure said that he's guilty of Quiet Abe! Trump already said on TV that he didn't like the crowd chanting send her back, and he got them to stop immediately. There's videotaped evidence of Trump not saying a word for 13 seconds, basking in the glow of the crowd's racism. Also, didn't you just say that his words weren't racist earlier, Barbara? Why would he condemn the crowd if you thought there was nothing wrong with it? Well, he still had nothing to do with what the crowd said. 
Well, no, oh, no, of course he had nothing to do with what they said, other than him being the one that started saying send her back in the first place. And also his campaign coordinates all chants that the crowd does, so Trump literally got everyone to chant it. But sure, otherwise... Next topic, Abe! Don't they have anything in that magic sorting hat of theirs that's not Trump-related? Oh, uh, let's see here. Hmm. No, not that. Not that. None of these. Here, I'm just gonna start little piles and see if I categorize these. Okay, Trump's a criminal. Trump's a criminal. Trump's a sex offender. Here's, um... More Trump lies. Oh, goodness, there's a lot of these. Oh, here we go. Iran claims to have captured 17 American spies who are actually CIA agents. Oh, I knew it. Bomb the shit out of them, Trump. Go on, it's World War III time. Kill all the Muslims. Barbara! What, Abe? They're all terrorists. I, uh... I I'm not even gonna get into this with you again. And America can't go to war with Iran. Why not? Don't you dare say that this is fake news, either, because Iran has been ramping up their aggression ever since Trump began provoking them daily. And in Trump's defense, Obama was nice to the Iranians, so of course he has to be heartless to them. Destroy Obama's legacy, even if it nukes the world into a nuclear winter. Ah. Uh. Anyway, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo has already said that the Iranians were lying about the spies being captured, so this is a non-story. That's, uh, is that an Obama-era person? It's Trump's hand-picked Secretary of State. Oh, well, it was fake news all along, then. I'll get you next time, Muslims. And your little dog, too. Did I hear someone say dog? B bah where did you come from? I live here, so who's selling hot dogs? Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, I would like to take one with mustard. Oh, it's Bowman. Ladies and gentlemen, Bowman's joined us in the studio today. Oh, no, no, no. Like I already told you, I live here. You two are joining me in my studio today. Ho, oh. Anyway, if there's no hot dogs here, I think I'll be on my way. And fair warning, I'm crop dusting this morning. So you may just want to make yourself scarce soon. And just like that, he's gone. Oh, it's too bad. Bowman's really good at putting liberal cucks like yourself in their place, Abe. Remember that time I had him hold you down and read Melania's GOP primary speech to you? That was Michelle Obama's Democratic primary speech. Oh, same thing. Next story, Abe! Okay. The next story on the list is about Boris Johnson becoming the Prime Minister of the UK, ushering in a thousand years of darkness as- uh, Oh God! Oh God, it's horrible! Oh, don't be so dramatic, Abe. It's not that bad. Oh, he gets it! Just hit me too! Oh, that's the worst thing ever! It's so nasty! Bowman let out a sneaky squeaker as he walked past us. And it's just now wafting up and hitting our faces and we smelled it. It smells like rotten eggs and roadkill. We must flee, Abe. I'm out of here. Wait, don't leave me behind, Abe. My knees don't work like they used to. But, but you're too heavy, Barbara. I'll never be able to drag you out in time. Don't you dare save yourself, Abe. Save me. Oh, no. Uh, I'll stop the recording. The audience doesn't want to hear us both die. <laughs>